Hi everyone, Aiden here at the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at these Amber Emergency LED lights from Blazer. Now these are going to be two different variations of pretty much the same light. It plugs into 12 volt power on your vehicle and has a amber strobe light that you can put on top of a work truck, a utility vehicle, a tow truck, really any sort of vehicle where you need to have some sort of extra visibility going down the road or parked on the side of the road doing some work. The only difference between the two here is that one is going to be heated to prevent snow from building up on it, and then one just isn't heated. Let's check them out. Now these are magnetic, so they'll just attach to your roof like that. The magnet is fairly strong, and you can see what that magnet looks like in this ring right here. It does have this protective sticker over it, so you don't have any metal on metal contact with your roof. If that sticker were to ever come off, you could always just put some electrical tape over it or something like that, just to keep your roof protected. But that's how it holds in place. And then the cord can just feed through your door into your vehicle, and it'll just fit around the door jam and the weather seal there, so it doesn't pinch the cord too much. But that coiled cable will stretch and reach your 12 volt outlet wherever it might lie. And if it doesn't quite reach, then you can move it around somewhere where it maybe can reach a bit better, whether it's in the vehicle or in your truck bed. You also might notice that the cords do look different. The thicker one here is for the light that does heat up, and the thinner one is for the one that doesn't heat. So you've just got a little bit more going through here, a thicker gauge wire. Otherwise, they're gonna be the same length, even though this one does look quite a bit smaller and shorter. They can both stretch up to 12 feet when they're fully uncoiled. Now, honestly, I think you probably wouldn't get to a full 12 feet because as you start to pull on it, you'll see the magnet isn't quite strong enough to hold it in place, and it might slide a little bit, but that's what it could stretch up to if you needed it to. I think realistically, 11 feet or so is probably more realistic. And when you plug it in, it just immediately turns on. There's no on-off switch, and there's no different modes. So you get this flashing strobe light that'll flash 100 times per minute. If you're looking for one that offers a little bit more control, Blazer makes some that are very similar to this one, both in form factor and color. But those ones have a bit more control over an on-off switch, and they've got different flashing modes that you can cycle between, as well as offering different lighting functions with amber and white, or amber or white, if that makes sense. You can do one color individually from the other, or you can combine them in a couple different modes. And with the heated versus non-heated, I did want to check the temperature and see what difference we're looking at. The non-heated one is unplugged right now, so that's just kind of ambient temperature, how it'd be sitting with today's summer air, and that's sitting around 85 degrees Fahrenheit. When I point this at the heated one, I'm reading about 92 and a half degrees Fahrenheit, with somewhat climbing up to maybe 93. So honestly, that's working pretty well. I don't think it's gonna get hot enough to melt snow if it builds up on top of it. I think if you're getting into your truck, whether it's a plow truck or a work truck, and you've got snow built up, you're probably gonna to wanna to brush, just brush it off. But as you're driving, if you park it, it will keep snow, I think, from accumulating once it is warm. And even though these are designed to be a pretty basic portable device, something that you don't have on all the time, I do think they're well built. It's got an IP67 rating, which is gonna help it resist moisture, dust, any sort of intrusion from water as we're driving down the road, or when we're stopped at wherever we're doing our work. So if it is raining, you can trust that it'll be all good. The polycarbonate lens is very thick, and it's going to be impact resistant, so I don't think I'll have any issues with that going down the road either. And then with the actual measurements of the form factor here, you want to keep in mind the height and the width of the base. So at the very base, the diameter here is five inches. That's important to know if your roof has ridges and you want to know if it'll fit between those ridges without any issues. The magnet is in the center, so if you did need to set it up stationary on top of one of those ridges, I think it'd fit fine, but it just wouldn't be as secure and flush of a fit. And then as far as the height goes, that's going to be three and five eighths of an inch tall. So for some of the taller trucks, I think it will be visible enough, but on a lower to the ground truck like this, it's obviously a lot better and easier to see. They do make larger ones if you have a larger truck and need that better visibility though. And that's really all there is to it. It's a pretty easy setup and a pretty basic light. 
if you just need the flashing amber light to just notify drivers of a stationary hazard or of your work truck whenever you're doing work on utilities in a neighborhood or maybe on a plow truck or a tow truck, then this will definitely do the trick. Like I mentioned before, there's a lot of other versions that offer more control if you need additional lighting functions or you want the mix of amber and white LEDs or the choice between one or the other. If you need the bigger sizes, Blazer makes those too and we offer them here at eTrailer, but regardless of which one you go with, this has just been our look at these versions of the amber LED emergency lights from Blazer. Thanks for watching.